Hey guys, it is Laura from Laura Marie Plans and today I'm here with another really exciting video. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of all my 2021 spreads. I did fill out this whole planner. It is very, very thick and I'm so excited to go through all the spreads with you guys. I did do um, a planner awards tag where I talk about some of my favorite spreads um, and that was kind of like my highlights of the year. And now I am just going to flip through all the spreads. I'm not going to spend too much time on each one um, because I do have how many weeks are in a year? Like 52 um, spreads to show y'all. So there's quite a bit, but I will let y'all know what happened, some highlights, what I liked about it, what I didn't, etc. So this year I used my first ever Aura Estelle, um, which I'm really excited. I made the switch 100% love rings. Love this A5 wide size. I love these clouds. I think they're beautiful. I love this one in particular. Like I literally don't think I could get one that I liked more. This pink is a perfect pink to me and I do not know which pink it is. I like can't find my Aura style receipt from when I bought this like a while ago now um, to see what color it is. Um, so I don't know, but I do also love the silver hardware and yeah, so I love this planner. It has been my baby and I'm really excited to flip through it. I did go ahead and take out most of the stuff in here. Usually with my planners, unfortunately, I don't really look back on them. Um, I'm going to be doing the planner graveyard series that Plana Hannah started, or I'm saying she started it. Um, so I will be looking through those planners with y'all then, but other than that, I don't really look back through these. So I did go ahead and clear this. I just kept this one card in that says, keep your chin up. Um, and then on the front here, I have this Fox and Pip, um, like die cut that says, I'm so freaking proud of you. I love this pumpkin paper co custom that I got to look like me and my dog Maisie, who did pass away this year. Um, I got this 2020 to 2021 sticker, like saying 2020 was garbage, but 2021 wasn't all that great either. I'm not going to lie but whatever. And then I do have this. I think this is a um, Scribble Prince Co. sticker. So I did use the Aura Estelle inserts this year. Uh, I don't know if I said that, but yeah. So right here, I never use this page, just the monthly view of the year and then into January. So I did do monthlies for every month this year. So this was my January monthly. I thought this art was super cute. Um, I don't know... Oh yeah, I ended up going on going with different arts, but I do think this turned out quite cute. I watched Bridgerton and Washington football team was in the playoffs, which did not happen this current season, so that's funny. Um, so this is my first week. It was December 28th through January 3rd. This was the week of New Year's. New Year's was this day. Um, I like didn't use any extenders and I'm pretty sure I use bougie boxes every spread this year. Um, but yeah, I use like some gold hollow, sparkly hollow with this. And I love these like fun boxes here that I threw in. <gasps> Maisie has surgery. Oh, I remember that. Um, yeah, this is super, super cute. We did start watching all the Marvel movies this year. Um, or last year, I guess now, um, when I say this year, I mean this year that I'm talking about. Um, so we started on Captain America, the first Avenger, and we watched Iron Man, but we basically watched them all in order. I did get um, some scripts from various shops that I use to mark that. And then this is the next week, which I love this kit. I think it's so beautiful and different. This was a Scribble Prince Co. mystery that I did buy on the buy, sell, trade. And it came with this beautiful sparkly hollow snowflake pattern, which was just so cute. And I did use extenders here. Um, yeah, this is super cute. <gasps> Mochi's birthday celebration. <laughs> so cute. I really like this. I love anything with sparkly hollow. So I also love this one, which has lavender hollow. I love this fashion girl in particular. Um, you guys will notice if there's an Asian girl 
in a kit, I most likely put it in the top left hand corner, which these other two girls were blonde. So there probably wasn't an Asian girl. But yeah, I really like this. I used lavender hollow stars with it. And I think it turned out so cute. Oh, and I love this person and this extender. Yeah, I love this art. Really cute. And then, oh my gosh, this was my first ever plan with me actually. Um, and this is definitely one of my favorite spreads of the whole planner. I love this sidebar. I love the quote overlays I used. I love this girl in front of the Capitol. I made it like a very like woman representation matters sidebar with the Asian girl, the quote on this shirt that says, when women show up, we win and Kamala Harris with the I'm speaking quote. Um, yeah, and this was such a fun day for me, especially because, like, look at how I went ham. Um, because I live right by D.C., so, like, we saw the fireworks. I actually, this just showed up in my memories, like, literally today. When I'm filming this, it is January 20th. That is so funny. I was like, wait, I literally just saw this in my memories, so that's really funny. Um, I was watching Bridgerton. Oh, I need to rewatch that. Um, yeah, finished Bridgerton, and I was still watching the Marvel movies. I love this kit so much. So, so much. And then this one's kind of like a darker spread. I never really love my darker spreads, but this one is really cute, especially with the silver snowflakes. Um, I do think silver looks so nice on, like, darker spreads. Um, it finally did snow, which I don't think it snowed very much last year, um, and then I was just watching Marvel movies and um, 90 Day Fiance. And then moving on to February. So that concludes my January spreads. I tried to add some die cuts, but I didn't really buy any die cuts for this planner. So they're kind of sparse. Um, this is my monthly, which I love this kit. It's I'm pretty sure the Netflix and chill art. I don't think I ever used this kit unless I used it this year. Um, but yeah, this, that, this, um, spread is very sparse. So I guess February wasn't a very busy month. Oh my gosh. Do I love this kit? This is so cute. I purchased the super old whimsical plans kit because she still had this art in her shop and I needed a football kit last year for the Super Bowl. Cause I'm like so into football, um, which was on this day that she's lost to the Buccaneers. It was crazy. But I really like how this turned out. Actually, I love how pink it is. I know it's probably a lot for some of y'all, but I love it, especially with the silver against it. Um, so yeah, this is just like super cute to me. Oh, I love these boxes. So yeah, I really, really like this one. I think I actually did this really well considering it was such an old format and I didn't have very many labels. So I feel like I rocked this and I really like it. And I love the bottom washi. This pink color, Simply Gilded color is like my favorite pink ever. And then this was my Valentine's week spread. Um, I thought this art was really cute at the time. And yeah, I just don't really love the formats of these types of kits. Um, and I just am over this shop, but I had lots of extenders. <laughs> This is actually really cute. And I love that I used rose gold with this. I love using rose gold for Valentine's Day spreads, especially like Scribble Prince Co. and Cross Presses rose gold because it's super pink. So yeah, and then I believe this was from Murdoch Talks. And this is another Valentine's Day spread I used with some silver heart foil from Scribble Prince Co. it looks like. And then some like red sparkly throughout, which is really cute. Oh my God, WandaVision, such a good show. I feel like that's when we were all, oh, WandaVision. That's when we were like, I don't know. That's when we became hip to how good these Marvel shows are. Um, So yeah, so fun. And then, oh my God, I love this red. This I got from Whimsical Plans and I did incorporate red foil to go with like the dark side colors. I loved this um, kit in particular because a lot of people use the uh, pink version of this art, but I really liked the red because I felt more like dark side vibes. And I love this person. I love the Kylo Ren cutout. I just think this is so cute. I love Kylo Ren. So I wanted to use this like fangirl Kylo kit 
Um, and like my Valentine's Day red spread. So I thought that would be fun. And I really like how this turned out. I used a lot of silver. Moving on to March. This was my monthly for March. Um, oh, COVID dose number two. Wait, so did I get my... Yeah, I got my first COVID shot on February 27th. I was qualified early because of my job. So that was awesome. And yeah, Maisie's birthday was this month. We celebrated Passover. Um, my mom and I planned a last minute trip to Disney World the following month. This was the foodie kit, which I still love this art. I think it's super, super cute. Oh, I watched Raya and the WandaVision finale this day. Um, I did incorporate, incorporate uh, gold Lux, rainbow Lux. I don't know what it's called from Cross Press. And I love that I brought in the like rainbow foil. I thought that was just so fun because there's just so many fun rainbows in this artwork, which I love. I'm like such a rainbow lover. And I love this person right here. Again, another Asian person. Um, so yeah, this cute, this kit so cute. Um, and I used this kit this week because I did get Korean barbecue. I got boba. I got pho. I just ate a lot. I ate, I made chili McDonald's. I used the McDonald's box on that day. So super fun. And then this spread I don't really like. I don't really like any of my spreads that I don't have the glitter headers in. I just don't think they're very pretty. Um, but yeah, I just threw up silver on this spread and I'm sorry if you can hear Jake he's gaming and is being loud as per usual um oh my god I had mochi over so much then and then this I love this spread this was Maisie's 16th birthday spread which it was her last birthday so that's kind of sad um it was also the week of the Asian hate crimes which is awful um but yeah, it was Maisie's birthday. She had an amazing, amazing birthday. We also watched the Free Britney documentary this day, which was crazy. Um, so glad Britney is free now. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. Um, but yeah, I just love celebrating Maisie's 16th birthday. And I know I probably looked like such a freak to so many people like that I was going so hard for my dog's 16th birthday, but like in the long run, I have no regrets. So had her sweet 16, it was amazing. And I used this kit to celebrate. I love this person right here. I love this cake box. This is Darcy art, so I just love it all. And then this kit, I don't really love this kit. I feel like the colors are a little much, um, but this was like the taco kit from Murdoch Talks. Um, I got my second dose of the vaccine this day, which was crazy. Finished Superstore. I think this was the last episode, which I'm still so sad that show ended because when we were watching it, I thought like it was going to last longer. I didn't realize it was the last season. So when it ended, I was like, wait, what? And Jake had no idea either. So um, I did use this kit this week because I did uh, eat at a taco truck, I guess. And I was very busy. Um, I did celebrate Passover with Jake's family, which was fun. I remember that. Um, and yeah. Oh, and I took my big praxis exam. So yeah, that's why I was so that I marked I was busy AF because I had to take these two long exams um, that I had to pass in order to pass graduate school or graduate graduate school. I don't know. This month, April, the month I went to Disney, if you can't tell, I went Disney crazy. Um, we did plan a super last minute trip and I marked, I love how I marked these, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Epcot. This month, so busy, so fun. It was a great month. Um, so first we have my Easter spread, which I do really like how this turned out. I thought this kit was so cute at the time, especially with the rose gold foil. Um, so yeah, this is my Easter spread. Super fun. And then this spread I love. I love this art. And again, whenever I use Sparkly Hollow, like I automatically love that spread. So oh, yes, I love, love, love this. We got our Peloton this day. Um, and I don't know why we had mochi so much. Filed my taxes. Ugh. 
fun, fun, fun. And then this, which Scribble Prince Co. actually just posted on her feed that this was the number one selling kit of the year. And the second one was this one, which is so funny because I use them back to back for my Disney weeks this year. So this is Batu Bound. I love this. This was custom art for Scribble Prince Co. And it was so cute. And or it was so magical and she released this before my Disney plans and then when I made my Disney plans I was like buying this right away. I did use the like park hopper I think foil in champagne lights which I think turned out amazing and just as someone who went to what is it called? I know it's called Hollywood Studios. Galaxy's Edge for the first time. It was like so fun to be able to use this kit to market and like a lot of things in this kit are like literally on point. So yeah, I remember really enjoying the food, getting on Rise of the Resistance, which was so exciting. Um, I just love these two fashion girls. I loved the blue milk. It was so good. Um, I got custom lightsabers. Again, Rise of the Resistance, definitely a highlight. I love how I marked it here with that phone in the background and a stormtrooper in front because that was literally like if you know you know like getting on rise of resistance isn't the easiest and then we did go to animal kingdom because i love my hippo so i had to mark that i also had an amazing dole whip there i think it's called like the simba sunset simba sunrise i don't know um but that dole whip at animal kingdom was so good the my first ever dole was experience was on was in magic kingdom this day and that was also really good but yeah i had such a blast with my mom on this trip and i'm so glad i used this kit this is def one of my favorite weeks ever this year oh and it was also thai new year which is exciting and then i was only at disney we flew back on tuesday but i still wanted to use this kit um because i loved it especially the pink drink and because I did go to all four parks, I was like, yes, I want to use this kit because I did, you know, go to all of them. And then I love this girl with the face mask because it really reminds me of my experience there. Because at the time you had to wear face masks everywhere. I don't know what the rules are anymore. But um, at the time you had to wear face masks everywhere and we were va fully vaccinated so yeah anyways this day was epcot which was super fun and i intentionally used the suitcase on this day because this was the day we traveled oh and did i mention this was my first and only color box spread i've ever done i do really love how they look like looking at it now i love it but it's just kind of challenging and i don't know i remember yeah I remember how challenging this was in particular because the two days I used extenders, I used the same color, which was so dumb on my part. But yeah, I really do love this spread and I love how this came out. I used sparkly hollow like Mickey overlays from School Prince Co. with this one. And again, just anything sparkly hollow, ya girl loves. And then, oh, I also love this spread. I feel like April, May, maybe, what was my first April spread? Oh, it was, yeah, April may have the most fire spreads, like, as as a whole. So this week, first of all, love the bottom washi I pulled in from Simply Gilded. This was, I don't know what it was called, but it's, like, the gamer kit from Scribble Prince Co. This was the first release, and I love this. I used Sparkly Hollow with Rainbow, and I used this because I did go to Jake's office for the first time, and he does work for an esports team, and they work in, like, a gaming studio, so this kit was, like, perfect for that, especially because in this box right here, it has the name of the game they play, which is Overwatch, so I just thought that was cool. We also got pizza this day, so I used the pizza box. I love doing stuff like that, um, but yeah, I love this kit. I absolutely love the bottom washi with this as well as the sparkly hollow the rainbow is a little much and i didn't use enough of it but still very very cute oh and jake got fully vaccinated this day and this was my last graduate class ever and we met robert irvine at my graduate celebrating dinner which was crazy oh <sighs> so crazy Moving on to May, this is my monthly for May. May was exciting because I did graduate from my master's program. That's like the main thing. Um, first and foremost, I have this Mother's Day spread, which I also really love this kit. Um, and I used gold 
and like a lilac purple foil bundle I had from Scribble Prince Co. I don't know. I'd be using the most random foil bundles in some of these spreads, but I do think they came out quite nice. Um, but yeah, this was my Mother's Day spread. And then this was my graduation spread. I love this. I used this graduation kit Scribble Prince Co. came out with, which was perfect for an at-home graduation because that was what happened to me this year. Um, but yeah, I graduated with my master's degree. It was literally crazy. I had finished my master's certificate sometime before this. I literally have no idea when I finished my master's certificate. Oh, this was my comprehensive exam that I also had to take before I graduated. When did I finish my master's certificate? I don't know, but I did finish it someday in there. I probably didn't mark it because it wasn't that big of a deal as a degree. Um, but yeah, I'm so, I'm like, oh, I just love this. Graduation was awesome. I had an amazing grad party for my whole cohort and my whole cohort came over except one girl who had to, she was like literally out of the country already. Um, but it was so fun seeing everyone because the whole semester and I think the semester before that too, like wasn't COVID like, yeah, COVID was like over a year old at this point. Oh my God. So yeah, it had been a while. It had been almost over a year since I'd seen some of those people because like in person because our classes got moved to virtual. But yeah, I did graduate from George Washington University with an early childhood special education master's degree. And I... I'm so proud of myself and like I think graduations are just wonderful and beautiful and like you should totally be proud of your accomplishments of graduating with degrees and I think it's something really awesome and great and yeah I'm really I just love this I love it so much moving on to this this one was fun I used I think gold hollow I think this is gold hollow. Yes. I actually really like this gold hollow. I used a gold hollow stars foil bundle from Scroll Prince Co. If that ever comes out back out, I'm definitely using it again. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I wrote back to normal. I guess the pandemic was like better right here. I'm assuming that's what I meant. I hung out with a lot of people though this week. So I'm assuming the pandemic was better. I literally hung out with people like so much. But yeah, this is a very cute spread. And then this spread, I also really loved this art a lot. I thought this art was to die for and I love that I incorporated rose gold with it. I think it looks so beautiful. Um, this spread was one year until we got married, <laughs> which is crazy because now our wedding is coming up real, real soon. And I did hang out with quite a bit of people. So the pandemic must have been better at this point. And then moving on to June, my mom just got me these stickers, don't ask. It was called the Hippo, but it's spelled with a Y. So that's why she got me it because I love hippos if you didn't know. Um, so this is my June monthly. This is super cute. I said yes to the dress this month and my sister came to town. So this was my pride spread, which I loved. I used rainbow foil from Sticker Guru as well as the rainbow Lux from Caress Press um, in silver. It is like a lot, but I don't care. I went ham and I love it. Um, and I just love this spread. So yes, I love pride, love everything about this. And I thought this was such a cute kit. This spread, also super cute. This was one, this and that football art I used for Super Bowl week, I think were the only spreads, this one, that I reused art. I'm pretty sure I used this art from the shop. Um, like a few years ago. Uh, well, you'll have to tune into my Planner Graveyard series, but this was fun. Oh my gosh. This was, no, this wasn't Memorial. I just had a lot of family time. Oh my gosh. This was so fun. I miss summer. I love summer so much. Oh, this is so fun. Love. 
And then this one I used to, because my sister was in town and this, this, this kit gives me vibes of my sister because she's super artsy. And then it also gave me vibes of my dad because he's like an amazing painter and artist as well. So I use this for Father's Day <laughs> and also my sister being in town. I did say yes to the dress this day, which was fun. It was on Juneteenth, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, and I finished Bling Empire, loved that show. Uh, I was watching Low Key. <sighs> and we secured our wedding photographer. Also, we took Maisie to the vet this day in June. And you remember this this video started with Maisie at the vet in the end of December while we were told she was gonna have to get surgery this day and then we took her and they were like, no, nah, she doesn't need it actually. So that was kind of relieving, but also annoying because I just went through so many emotions with that. And then this is my least favorite spread of the year, um, mainly because I didn't have the glitter headers. This was the week that Jake and I went to West Virginia and we went glamping, which was really fun. We went with Mochi um, and Maisie stayed at my parents' house, but... I don't really like the spread. I really think it's so ugly. Um, I really just like need glitter headers in every spread. But yeah, it is what it is. This is July. For July, I use stickers that like I love. So I have this Be Kind, like autism acceptance sticker um, that my in-laws got me. I got a custom Laura sticker. I don't know who this is from. And then this pink sparkly vinyl is from Scroll Prince Co. This is the kit I used this month, which was to celebrate my birthday and also the birth of Oliver, <laughs> Oliver born, which I had to backtrack and mark because at the time I didn't know he was born, but yes. So this is my nine year anniversary spread with Jake as well as my 25th birthday. I don't even know how old I am anymore. I use sparkly pink hollow, which I love. I love sparkly pink hollow so much as well as gold. Um, and I just love this. I love this person. This was when I started talking representation. Um, I think it was actually the following week. Yeah. But when I posted this spread was when I made a big representation post and was like, yo, there's not enough inclusivity and diversity in the planning community. So follow me on my planner Instagram for more on that. But I love this. Love how this looked. Our nine year anniversary was perfect. So fun. Um, I can't tell what's extender and what's not, but yes, I love this spread. Definitely my, one of my favorite spreads of the year because of the memories and because it's beautiful. And I always go so hard for my birthday spread and our, our anniversary spread, which this year it's going to be 10 years, but it also doesn't matter as much because we're going to be married, I feel like. But I don't know. It's still fun to remember. This week was the week of my friend's bridal shower that I helped plan. <laughs> Depressed on Thursday. Um, and this was also the week that LOL finished Too Hot to Handle Season 2. What a weird show. Um, this was also the week I started talking representation. So that was fun. And yeah, I really love this kit. I think it's perfect for a bridal shower, like Tiffany and Co. And it was kind of old. And I used the Tiffany wiggle from Scribble Prince Co. Like I'm pretty sure it was called Tiffany in the whimsical bow format. And I just think it looks so beautiful. And then this week I got a tattoo. This was also a really crappy week because my mom was in the hospital. Um, but I also got a tattoo. I got a hippo tattoo. I got the outline on this day. And then I did go back in like October or something to get it colored. Um, Black Widow, such a good movie. I love anything Marvel. So um, yes, this was super fun. I did pick up my wedding dress this day. We went to Jake's family's house and we did fill out our dog application. Um, so we did apply to be, um, oh no, we were sitting on our balcony. It was so cute. We were sitting on our balcony on like a nice summer day and I had my laptop up and we were just applying to a bunch of dog applications on like good dog or I don't remember what the website's called. <gasps> I love this spread so much. I love this art. I love Darcy. I love these people. I love everything. I love the smiley faces. I love this bottom wash. I love that I use sparkly hollow because y'all know 
I love me some Sparkly Hollow and Big Brother. So fun. Um, yeah, I just love this. I love this cake box. <laughs> Our toilet overflowed. What an awful day. We did a bunch of wedding planning this day. We were watching the Olympics at the time. Oh, so fun. This week, I'm pretty sure was super chill. I had the week off, I guess. And I did commit to our dog, which basically was paying an obscene amount of money. But I did do that. And I guess that was our new, our only thing to mark this. Yeah, committed to our dog this week. But yeah, I had a lot of pool time and stuff. I was using the pool in our apartment complex a lot. So another eat fruit sticker. <laughs> I'm telling you, I put the most random stickers on here. This is August, which I love this monthly. Um, did I get this kit? I don't think I got this kit in the mystery or misfit poll. I don't even know what anything's called anymore. Um, but I really do like this art. All right, so this is the first week in August. Um, oh my God, my client threw up this day. It was so gross. <gasps> I left this box empty. Oh, well. Oh, well, <laughs> I feel like I may have done that a lot and I just didn't notice. Let me know if you saw that on any other months. I don't know, I, or weeks, I don't know. We did go to the city open this day, which was really exciting because we saw Rafa Nadal lose, excuse me, lose. That was weird. Um, But I used rose gold with this. I think it turned out really cute. What is this one year of being engaged? I really have these countdowns down, geez. Um, oak mites. Oh my God. The oak mites were so bad because in our area we had cicadas this year. And then I guess after the cicadas left, there was something called oak mites, which were these like telescopic bugs that give you the biggest, itchiest red bites. And they were so itchy and they were really bad in Northern Virginia where we live. Um, even though the cicadas weren't that bad. So Anyways, I just, I had awful oak my itches. That is definitely something unique from this year. <sighs> and then this is the next week. Um, just another chill summer week. Football was back, which was exciting. Um, oh my God, Jake and I have been going to this amazing Japanese barbecue place. We were going for a bit while we were eating out still. We haven't been eating out lately. Um... Love Island season three. That show was so bad. Or that season was so bad. Um, Yeah, this is really cute. I used a lot. I was really like spending a lot of time with Mochi. And then this was the week of my friend's bachelorette weekend. So I did use this kit because we did go to the Outer Banks. And this kit was like perfect for that. I think I used, yeah, I used extenders here. Um, so I use champagne lights, I think, with this, and then, like, regular gold foil, but I thought this turned out... Oh, and I use some blue. I really use, like, so many mixes of different foils. Fun. And then I loved this kit, this spread. I loved how I use this... Oh, is it Sunset Hollow? I think so, and I think this be this kit is, like, Sunrise, but it looks so good together. This is definitely like one of my favorite foil pairings I did also with the gold. Um, so yeah, I think this turned out so cute. We did do a lot of wedding planning this week. Um, we did flowers and our food tasting. Oh my gosh. I'm like actually like always so busy it seems like. <laughs> I like do a lot every week, but I don't know. Maybe that's just like me marking a lot of stuff. This was September, which was the month my friend got married and I was in her wedding. So I used this wedding kit and this was the week of her wedding, but also the week Maisie passed away, unfortunately. Um, so she did pass away on this day. My friend's wedding rehearsal was this day. Maisie passed away on this day. This was also the day we found out we actually got... Oliver as in we had seventh pick and we got a list back with everyone's name and what dog they got and we got blue boy at the time and we decided to name him Oliver because he looked like an Oliver to us 
So we actually found out we got him this day and we were driving back to my parents' house because I was gonna spend the night for my friend's wedding, which was close to their house. And we got back and Jake forgot his suit. So he drove back to Virginia. I stayed home with the dogs and my parents and Maisie went downhill super fast. We took her to the animal hospital when Jake returned and she passed away. It was awful. I hated it. I took a sleeping pill this day after the wedding. Um, and I found out Jake had to go to Hawaii the week we were getting our new dog, which was also kind of sad for me because I was like, it was just, it was just a lot at the time. But I really am glad I got to use the spread to market. I think it turned out beautiful and I do miss my Maisie so much. This was the week of Jake's birthday. Uh, definitely one of my favorite weeks by far. I did meet my new client, which is still the family I work for now, which is really exciting. I love them. But I used Rainbow Star Foil from Scribble Prints Co. as well as these, ooh. Oh. I'm gonna say Adorably Amy Designs overlays. I love this birthday boy one, and I love how this box looks like Jake. Um, apparently I was sick this week, which I definitely wasn't that sick, but I did take a COVID test and I picked up meds. So I guess I was sick. I don't remember. Anyways, um, yeah, it says I was sick. That's so weird. I don't remember being that sick. Um, but yeah, this was really fun for his birthday. We did see Shang-Chi, which was the new superhero movie um so we did go in theaters for the first time in a while to see that and then we did have a georgetown day and then we went to the 9 11 pentagon memorial and then on his birthday we tailgated and went to the washington football team opener game against the chargers they lost and we just watched football sunday it was the first um actual night of super of football so that was just really exciting so yeah i really really love how this spread turned out with the silver and rainbow foil and i love it for jake's birthday and then this week was also exciting i started marking oliver's age because we got oliver on saturday when he was officially eight weeks and for the rest of my spreads uh, from here on out in this planner, I do mark his age, which is fun. Hopefully I didn't mess up any weeks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just working a lot at the time because I was, um, trying to get in all my supervision hours so that I could apply for my board exam. Um, but yeah, Jake went to Hawaii on this Thursday and then on this Friday, no, on this on this Friday, yeah, I went to my parents' house and Oliver was dropped off to us on this Saturday. And before Oliver was dropped off, I did go stand up paddle boarding with my mom and Mochi, which was exciting. But yes, Oliver was dropped off. And then on this day, and the reason why I used this kit, I wanted to also use this for Jake's birthday, but I was like, I have to use this for Jake's birthday because we saw Shang-Chi and it was like, I had the birthday boxes, so I used this the following week. We did go to the Sunday night football game, which was the Chiefs versus the Ravens, and the Ravens won. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I love this bottom washi from Simply Gilded. It literally matches this kit perfectly. And football truly is my favorite season. Shout out Elaine from Coffee Monsters Co. for always making football art. Like, you are the real MVP. I am here for it every year. Every year, I love it. Love football. Okay, on to this week. This week, I did stay home at my parents the whole time because um, Jake was in Hawaii and I had a eight-week-old puppy that I could not manage to take care of on my own. Like, he was a lot at the time. So I did take him to his first ever vet appointment where he weighed in at like 4.9 pounds, I think. Um, this was the Moon Festival, which is fun and hung out with my dad this day. I did use this kit from Caress Press, which was called like Happy Place with gold and copper foil. I do think it turned out quite nice. Oh, and then I picked up Jake this day, which was exciting, and Jake met Oliver, which was really cute. So on to this week. I also really, really like this art. Um, <laughs> I was mad at work. Um, eight months until our wedding. Big Brother finale. That was a historic finale. Um, yeah, so this was our first week at home, which is Oliver, which seems like it was quite chaotic because he did pee on my bed this day, which I vaguely remember. 
Um, and then my in-laws did come over this day and we had some Thai food and I made them a traditional Thai dessert, Lord Chong, which is always interesting to see how white people react to eating <laughs> Asian food sometimes. Um, next is October and this is the monthly Super Dead. <laughs> um, I love this kit, spread, everything. Um, this is, I think, exclusive art for Scribble Prince Co. It's like the dead inside, dead to me. I don't know. Um, and I use sparkly foil with it as well as like some bats foil from Sadie Stickers, which I love. Um, yeah, I just really, really like this. I feel like since we've gotten Oliver, I've really gotten, I thought this was an extender, on such a routine of things. Um, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, I really, really like this. This was my first Halloween, well, I guess this was a Halloween spread too. This was my second Halloween spread, which I used this adorable kit. I just really liked how traditional this was. And I did use some gold spiderweb foil, which I thought was fun. I saw a lot of people use silver with this kit, but like the oranges and the yellows in the kit lended me towards wanting to use gold. I think silver would have also looked really nice, but I do really like how this turned out with gold. Um... Yeah, I love all the spider webs I incorporated. So super fun. And then this week was the week that um, we did our engagement shoot and I got my first hair and makeup trial. So I used this golden hour kit um, because we did, we we took our photos during golden hour, but I didn't, it, it didn't end up like showing really because it was already October. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. But anyways, I, I use this kit for that reason. Um, I found out, this is actually a pretty dramatic week. So I found out my office, my branch was shutting down this week. Um, what else? I had my makeup trial, my hair trial, and my engagement shoot. Ollie broke my laptop this day because I let him chew on it, which was, you know, my fault. And then I got my hippo colored this day, my hippo tattoo that I got done in July earlier. So, and Oliver was three months, but yeah, this is really cute with the champagne lights. This is my actual Halloween spread of the year, which I really, really love. I love this person by Darcy. I went ham on this like uh overlay because well now scroll prince co has tall box overlays but she didn't and i maneuvered the heck out of this it took forever but i really love this especially with the matte foil bundle and the green foil i used i think this turned out so freaking cute halloween was on a sunday this year which was super lit even though we didn't do anything. And I finished my supervision hours this day, which was really exciting because I think next the next week I apply for my board exam. This was like an exciting year. Next is November. I used this Among Us with the cheese thing because I was like, cheese, Thanksgiving, food. <laughs> That's literally my reasoning. I really, really like this art from um, Scribble Prince Co. I think this was her exclusive Thanksgiving art this year. So I thought that was really cute. Um, so this is my first fall spread. Um, completed my application this day, which was super exciting. And then you guys will see a month later, I do get approved. Um, my dad did go to Thailand and I did get my COVID booster and flu shot. Um, and yeah, I just did a lot of wedding planning this day or this week. And then this spread, I love this spread. Um, this is like the wine festival. I really love Caress Press's Copper. I think it's so beautiful. Um, oh my God, Oliver's already 16 weeks. But yeah, I really like this. I love the fashion people in this. And I just love how Kitness just draws lighting. I think she crushes it. It's such a weird thing, but I don't know. I'd be really appreciating that. Oh, we finished Ted Lasso season two this day, which was the worst ending ever, Jake. And it was so predictable. Jake and I literally were talking the other day and we were like, remember when we watched Ted Lasso season two finale and how bad the ending was? So that was disappointing. It was also just like so predictable, which I hate. Um, like Jake called it out early in season two that that ending would happen and then it happened. 
Um, anyways, this week was the week of Loy Katong, which is a Thai holiday, and I loved using these Paper Shire stickers to mark that. I did use this Scribble Prince Co. kit with rose gold. Oliver went in the dog park for the first time this week because he did get his 16-week uh, shot um, that allowed him to, it was his last social shot, they call it. So he was then allowed to go in the dog park. Um, and ever since he has been the dog park king. And then this was my Thanksgiving week. I love this spread. I really killed it on like the holiday and like big moment spreads this year, I feel like. So I used this bonfire wiggle, I think that's what it's called, in the leaves pattern from Scroll Prince Co. as well as gold foil. I love the fashion people in this kit. Um, and I love how the gold looks with this red. I also just think this bonfire looks so good with this kit. I don't know. I'm obsessed. But I had a really good Thanksgiving. I got to hang out um, with both Jake's family and my family because COVID wasn't awful at the time. Um, and then I also, we started celebrating Hanukkah this week, which was fun. Oh, and we finished Sex Education, which I loved that show. Such a good show. I definitely want to rewatch season one. I don't know about the whole show, but yes. And then this is my December monthly. Literally almost every day except three days are filled. It was a lit time. So first we have this holiday mail kit. Love this kit. Love that I used rose gold foil with it. I just think this is so cute. So I used this this week to mark, first of all, Hanukkah, because they did have that inclusive Hanukkah box. Shout out, Darcy. Um, and then also, oh, my my application got approved this day. We did send out our save the dates. Where did I mark that? My save the dates arrived, and I sent them out, literally on Sunday, because I was like, I need to send them out on the week I use this spread. Um, but yes, I love this. Oh, we went to the UM, the University of Maryland, which is our undergrad school um, for a college basketball game this day. And then I had my second hair and makeup trial as well as a family dinner at the rehearsal space we ended up choosing for where we're going to have our rehearsal dinner. But yeah, love this spread so much, like so much. And I love what I did here with this like Hanukkah deco and box i think it's so cute this week was the week of my mom's birthday and i want to use this adorable spread because it just reminds me of my parents and more traditional christmas and like the asian girl like my mom you know i don't know um so i did do a mixed metal moment of gold and silver which i don't think i did a true mixed metal moment at all in any of these other spreads, which for me is like literally to a T, switching between gold, silver, gold, silver, between everything. Uh, yeah, it was a lot, but it turned out really cute. We did build a gingerbread Washington football team stadium, which FedEx Field in real life sucks, but this was fun to make because Target had like stadium gingerbread kits this year that were super affordable and you could do soccer or football. And we decided to do football offs and we made a Washington football team stadium and even made the like burgundy and gold colors. So it was fun. And then we have this week, which this was the week of my bachelorette weekend in Las Vegas. Um, so that was really exciting. Jake did go to the ER at the beginning of the week, which was scary. He was very sick. And then they diagnosed him with something that he definitely doesn't have. But I did go viral on TikTok for it. So that's great. Um, Oliver did meet my client this day, which was cute. And then this day we did get to Vegas. We went to Planet 13, which is an amazing dispensary. We took lots of pictures. We went on the high roller, which is this amazing, like 360 degree, I don't know, um, huge Ferris wheel. And then we were just out all night, literally have not gone as hard as I went in Vegas. And I probably will never go that hard again. Um, on Saturday, we did go to brunch. We went to Fremont Street and then we got noodles in Chinatown. We went to Magic Mike, which was amazing. And then we went to a nightclub. We got Taco Bell Cantina. I literally stayed up till 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time this day, which was 9 a.m. in where I'm from, in D.C. So, yes. And then on Sunday, I was so 
hungover. I was drinking so much. Um, I'm so surprised I did not get sick. I don't know if that's TMI, but I usually get really sick and I didn't. So that was, that was a win for me. We went to Meow Wolf, which was like an interactive art exhibit that was super trippy and cool. And then we had dinner at Sushi Samba in the Venetian, which I highly recommend. I think they have places in different locations. I think they have restaurants in different locations. Um, but yeah, super fun weekend. I love all my girls that went hard for me on this trip. Even though we're washed, it was so fun. It was such a perfect bachelorette weekend. And shout out to those girls who made it awesome. Yes. Okay. This is my Christmas spread. I love this kit so much from Crest Press. I use Sparkly Hollow once again. Do you guys see? Like when I, I automatically will love a spread if I use Sparkly Hollow. Um, this was the day of my dad's birthday. And then I did see Spider-Man No Way Home, which was life-changing. Life-changing. Still talking about it to this day. Like I literally just had a family dinner. I was talking about it to my cousin the whole time. Um, did a lot of Christmas shopping this week. And we did um, have Christmas Eve this day at my parents' house. And we watched Shang-Chi again, and then we did do Christmas Day in a super safe way. We all tested negative multiple times before meeting um, and the day of, and we all wore masks inside. We ate outside and opened most of our gifts outside. When it got dark and cold, we did go inside and we all wore our masks. But yeah, super safe, but really fun. Um, so that was my Christmas week. And then lastly, but not leastly, I have my first New Year's Eve spread of 2022, which I did use this kit that I originally got for my friend's wedding because I was a bridesmaid and I was wearing a navy blue dress. So I was like, hey, let's go with this. Also this box with the cake and the like two champagne glasses and like this art, like a lot of things give me wedding vibes. Um, but then Maisie passed away. So I still have this kit and it was in an older format and I wanted to just use it. So I was like, New Year's spread. So I did use a lot of Planet Hannah overlays, which I think turned out so cute with this spread. Um, but yeah, I just used gold foil. This is a crust press kit and it's super cute. And it was our nine and a half years. Um, again, New Year's Eve, I've been taking a lot of COVID tests ever since Omicron got bad, which it started to get bad um, when I went to Las Vegas. And then it was just like bad ever since. And now it's still bad. But that concludes my 2021 planner flip through. Thank you all so much. If you watch this far, this is probably a much longer video than I was ever anticipating. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Nonetheless, let me know what your guys' favorite spread is that you guys saw on my planner this year. You guys can also check out every single spread it, on my planner Instagram at Laura Marie Plans. Go follow there. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Thank you all so, so much if you have watched this whole video and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!